Before James joined Prison Fellowship, we were in a challenging place as an organization. Since then, we've refined our focus and expanded ministry to places where we had never had a presence before. Under James's leadership, our sense of unity has been renewed, leading to fruitfulness in every season as we seek justice, love mercy, and restore hope. James, I want to wish you the very best for this next chapter of your life. May the Lord richly bless you by His Holy Spirit. James, I just want to say thank you for what you've done for Prison Fellowship, for me, and for the millions of people incarcerated and hundreds of thousands of children we've served. You brought in a culture of honor and respect, and then you empowered the leaders to bring in people that could really win in ministry. You restored the ministry to a healthy, thriving culture. Your constant charge to each of us to be innovative and collaborative not only allowed us to survive during tough times, especially COVID, but to thrive during tough times. You model transparency, you helped us clarify our mission and lead us back to it. You have challenged and encouraged me and my team. Your commitment to excellence, your commitment to um, pursuing um, what you hear the Lord telling you. We're grateful for uh, particularly all the ways that you have helped us grow as a marketing team from creative direction and video, all of the great talents that you brought to help us to get us to this place that we are right now. I remember meeting on the third floor, in one of the conference rooms, and being so excited when I left about the possibility and the opportunity to work with the CEO that truly care about the staff, that truly care about creating a positive culture. James, I am so grateful for all of the ways that you've boldly led us forward in your time at Prison Fellowship, and I can't wait to see what God has in store for you and Martha next. We've spoken often about the Hebrews 13, three passage about remembering those in prison. When you fast forward you know, four verses to verse seven, it says, remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God, consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. And so I just wanna thank you for modeling what it is to finish well. Um, and that your legacy will live on. James's guidance through our ongoing growth has been an enormous blessing to the ministry and the people we serve. Now, Prison Fellowship is positioned for even greater impact as he passes the baton to another phenomenal leader. James, I know it wouldn't even be possible for me to be the incoming CEO without you. And I just want to thank you for seeing in me what I didn't even see in myself at the time. I can still remember the moment when I asked you, do you think I could ever be a CEO? And you didn't think twice. You said, yes, absolutely, you can. Thank you for that. I thank you for your prayers along this journey. And I know I speak on behalf of so many when I say that the Lord has the next doors open for you and Martha. And I'm so excited to see what it is. Well done, good and faithful servant.